Move aside, boys. It's my turn. That's my cue to play. I'm prepared. I'm ready to investigate. I'm prepared. It's my time in the spotlight. I heed the Lord's call. It's my time in the spotlight. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wilhelmina Tillingest, Professor of Astronomy at Miskatonic University. All my life I have dedicated myself to the study of celestial objects. Most recently I visited Louisiana to observe the passage of a comet I had observed for many years. I hoped the trip would provide me with the evidence required to conclude my decades-long research. Yesterday, you received my telegram requesting that you meet me at my house, just outside Arkham. And so, you've decided to join me in my mansion. The estimable professor suggested a desire to organize a theatrical extravaganza. At last, a patroness who recognizes my talent. Welcome to my mansion, my friend. I'd better ring the bell. Oh, answer me. 
Wait, uh, Hamlet's talking to a ghost in that one. Uh, bad choice. Oh, how rude of me to make you wait like this. I wonder whether something's wrong. There's a light coming from that second floor window. Well, she must be home. Let the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. Or I could just let myself in. It's no problem to reach the window, but it's shut tight. I'd need to smash the glass to get inside. I hope you aren't thinking what I fear you're thinking. What I need is something heavy to smash this window. You smashed my window. I hope you intend to have it replaced. What light through yonder window breaks? It is my elbow! Ouch! Now, where is the professor? A broken vase. The professor must have heard it fall. She wouldn't have just left it here. I certainly would not. I take pride in a clean and tidy abode, especially when expecting visitors. I'd better find her.
That scream came from upstairs. That sounds like my voice. I must need help. Professor? Was that you? Of course it was. Hurry! No answer. There must be someone else in the house. I ought to find a weapon. Is this a dagger I see before me? I should hold on to that. What on earth are you doing with my letter opener? The must have come from the other side of this door. That's my office door. Who goeth? Ahem, uh, uh, who goes there? I'll ask the questions. Roland Banks, Bureau of Investigation. I'm on the job. Who are you, and what's your reason for being here? What would a federal agent want with me? William Yorick, Master Thespian at your service. The good professor requested my presence to discuss a performance of some sort. Judging by the scream we heard, it appears to have begun without me. Seems like I'm on the right track. Something hinky's going on here. Is Professor telling us to suspect in some crime? She's only a person of interest. The Bureau has evidence that others are trying to involve her in some shady business. I came to find out what she knows, if anything. Then I heard the scream, too. Seems we need a key to get inside that room. I wasn't prepared for so many guests today. I'll help you find that key. There's a key on this mobile. My files say Tillingus has no children. If that's true, why would she need a nursery? The professor always wished for children, even long after she grew too old to have them. Oh, I can't say it isn't true. But I wish people were less prone to idle gossip.
An intruder? How many people can I expect to break into my house today? Who are you? Listen, pal. You've got some explaining to do. Come then. I have just the explanation you deserve. What's going on? We'd better have a look inside. Or you. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. Wait. That's me. That is... It's my... body. That's Professor Tillingus, all right. She won't be telling me much anymore. We need to stop them!
Who were those cloaked figures? This wasn't just a burglary. You're right about that. It must be connected to my investigation. We better have a look around. Such a brutal death. Even Shakespeare would hesitate to dispatch a kindly old scholar in such a manner. Despite my age, I had much more to do in life. This wound on her stomach? It looks like she was knifed. Look at these notebooks. Is this the professor's handwriting? It is, but how would you know? There's no useful information here. But perhaps Professor Tilling has kept notes on this material in another location. What's this mess? Yeah, a broken jar, a flask. I can make out a few letters. Miska, Uni, S La Miskatonic University Science Lab. That's simple enough. sign. That and drawn in blood. My nice clean floor. Ruined. That looks like some kind of cult symbol. This ain't a garden variety burglary. We found everything we're liable to find here. Time to see where the evidence leads us. And so my friend set out to discover how I was killed. Your search of my office makes it clear you must visit Miskatonic University. Not only did I work there, but the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Whatever the answer, you're sure to find it at Miskatonic.
Welcome to Miskatonic University, home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Science and astrophysics are all very well if what you want is a good job. I, of course, prefer the drama department. Oh, it has changed over... The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillinger's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. All right, let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. Here's telling his office on the left, Withers to the right. They must have known each other pretty well. Professor Tillinger's door is locked. But of course, my friend, academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. Some have even been known to steal a colleague's research and present it as their own. We'd better ask Withers for the key. I say no, Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have... Oh, they're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingust. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillinghast's death, and we... Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh, these constant intrusions by reporters and police and guns. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal. Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane, and you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillingist. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense! No, Professor Withers, she's right. We have seen unusual things. We arrived too late to save Professor Tillingist. But we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural, to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? 
to the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. Thank you.